disease. While obesity is certainly a risk factor for certain diseases, like heart disease and diabetes, it shouldn't in and of itself be called a disease. Obesity is determined by calculating a person's BMI. BMI stands for Body Mass Index. What's used to arrive at the BMI is a person's height and mass. Being a personal trainer for over 15 years, I've had clients who had a very healthy amount of muscle mass be determined as obese by this formula. So as you can see, it's a flawed approach at arriving at obesity, let alone calling it a disease. But the main problem with calling obesity a disease is it will force or cause too many people to not take responsibility for their actions. For the most part, we reap what we sow. If a person decides to eat high sugar and high fat foods on a consistent basis, they may have some negative consequences and some poor health as a result of that. There certainly is a genetic component, but there's too many lifestyle aspects to it to just write it off as a disease. Unfortunately, most obese people don't exercise, which is one of the best ways to avoid becoming obese. What this might do is cause them to say, I have a disease, it's not my fault, so I'm not gonna do anything about it, and it also might cause them to spend unnecessary money on weight loss drugs and weight loss surgery. There's a man in my neighborhood who, is, who was morbidly obese. He decided he was fed up and he was gonna do something about it one day. He began taking those gradual steps, which was just a nice, easy stroll down the neighborhood. He had his huge bottle of water. You can see him now, he had his big headphones on as he was walking, plodding along. Sure enough, his pace picked up every, uh, every week or so. If you were to watch this guy over the course of a few days, you might not see any difference. You might not see any difference over the course of a few weeks or even a few months, but if you were to watch him year over year, you would see a dramatic difference. That's because he took responsibility for himself and changed his life. He didn't rely on any drugs or weight loss surgery. Exercise is the best way to burn fat and there isn't the negative side effects that come with